There are late developments in the deadly shooting of a seven-year-old girl in Texas tonight. Janet Shamlian says we are getting our first look at a possible suspect. Janet. Jeff, good evening. The Sheriff's Department has just wrapped up a news conference here moments ago releasing a composite sketch of the believed gunman. They are hoping that this will lead to the arrest of the man who shot and killed that little seven-year-old girl. What will you miss most about your sister? Her smile. For the first time, the only eyewitness to the shooting that claimed the life of Jasmine Barnes, her 15-year-old sister Alexis, is talking. He was white and he had blue eyes. And that was it because he had a hoodie on, so I couldn't see his hair, nothing like that. Alexis says the driver of the red truck, captured in this grainy image, had a 5 o'clock shadow, not a beard. As the family copes with what happened, there's been an outpouring of support from celebrities like actress Gabrielle Union and the daughter of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Bernice King. Hometown Houston Texans wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins tweeting that Jasmine's face reminded him of his own daughters. I'm pledging my playoff check this week to help her family with funeral costs, he wrote. On Saturday, I will be playing in your honor, Jasmine. He empty out his gun. Jasmine's mother, LaPortia Washington, who was hit in the shoulder during the Sunday shooting, is still trying to understand why the gunman opened fire. Do you think this could possibly be a hate crime? Yes. It was a black, black person and it was a white person doing the shooting. So I don't know if he's out here sick, you know, doing this because he's getting off to it or whatever it is, but he's taking innocent lives and, it, and it's not fair. The reward money to find Jasmine's killer has now surged to more than $100,000. The devastated family will lay their little girl to rest on Tuesday. Jeff. Janet Shamley in Houston. Janet, once again, thank you.